Minutes in the Word with Dream Girl Ministries, and I'm Marion Jordan Ellis. We are continuing our study of A Redeemed Girl Loves. If you're following along with our scripture memory cards, or if you're just watching these videos, I want you to know that today's verse is John 15, verses 12 through 14. And let me read it for us. It says, My commandment is this, Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, then he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. That's from John 15, 12 through 14. So whenever we're studying scripture, we first of all wanna look at the context. Now the context of this passage is one of my favorite moments in scripture. And this is when Jesus is uh, with his disciples. It's the night that he is going to be arrested, the night before he's gonna be crucified. And he takes his disciples and he gives them one of the most essential teachings of the Christian faith. And that is about abiding in him. And in this setting, he uses the illustration of the vine and the branches. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you abide in me, you will bear much fruit. And from that, he talks about how we are recipients of the very life of Christ when we're connected to him in faith. And from that, the fruit of our lives is his righteousness, his goodness, but most of all, his love, which is what we're talking about right now. So when we talk about a redeemed girl loves, we are talking about the type of love that happens First and foremost, when we have that abiding relationship with Christ. And so when Jesus turns to his disciples to say these things, he's saying essentially the overflow of you abiding me in me, you, the, your relationship with me is your love for one another. So he's saying the content is, if you don't love your brother and sister in Christ with my love, then you're not abiding in relationship with me. And so let me look back at the content. He says, my commandment is love each other as I have loved you. So we stop there and go, well, how has Christ loved us? He's shown us grace. He's been sacrificial. He meets our needs. And so in that, God teaches us the way we love our brothers and sisters in Christ is just like Christ loves us. We show the grace, the kindness, the patience, all of those things that Jesus gives to us, that sacrificial agape love is what we are to give to other people. He goes on to this, he says, greater love has no one than this that you would lay down your life for your friend. So then he says, I have set the example of what sacrificial love looks like. The very next day, Jesus is going to be put on trial falsely accused. He's going to take a, a cross. He's going to walk up into Jerusalem and take a death that he is an innocent person for. And he's going to take this for us. He's going to lay down his life. And so he's saying, likewise, as my followers, you love someone sacrificially. And this, once again, he says to us, is only possible by that abiding relationship that we have with him. We can't do this on our own. We can't do that kind of sacrificial love or seeking the best for the other person in our natural self. We have to have the resources that we draw from Christ, from his supernatural love as we abide in him. I hope you've enjoyed our time in the Word today, and I hope you're memorizing these scriptures with us because they are so powerful and they're such truth. And here's the great part. As we see what God expects of us, we in prayer ask him to provide that in our lives because we can't do it. But he, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we abide in him, he can produce this in us.